Hello friends, welcome to our channel IPM Leap. Today's video lesson is based on the question type that you can see on your screen. We need to calculate the number of digits in the following exponents. And if you look at the options for these questions, you will get a hint that the number of digits may easily run into 60s or 70s. So what do you think? Are they expecting you to calculate the values of these exponents? No, certainly not. It is not possible for any candidate taking any exam to calculate the value of these exponents during the time frame of the exam without a calculator there too. So then how do we solve such questions? In this video, we will discuss the logic of how we calculate the number of digits of such huge numbers within seconds. All that is required at your end is some basic knowledge of logarithms. See, they have given you the value of log 2 in these questions. So if you're ready, let's discuss. Here is a quick cheat sheet for the rules of logarithms. At any point during the video, if you feel the need to revise these rules, you may revert to this section. And now the basics. Well, I always tell my students that don't be afraid of logs. They're just a mathematical tool to make our job of doing calculations simpler. So if we have a basic exponential equation, a raised to the power of x is n, and supposing we know the values of a and n, but we need to calculate x from the equation, then logarithms is the answer to that puzzle. The power x will be equal to log of n to the base a. So as a matter of fact, these two equations are always interconvertible. Remember that. I've just memorized this definition of logarithms. It makes my job much simpler. So repeat with me. Logarithm of a number n to the base a is the power to which the base must be raised in order to equate the given number n. Right? Supposing we have log 1 to the base 10. 10 raised to what power gives you 1 as a result? 10 raised to the power 0. Right? So the value of this log is 0. Log of 1 is always 0 for any base. Next, say we have log 10 to the base 10. Base 10 raised to what power gives you 10 as a result? The answer is 1. 10 raised to the power 1 is equal to 10. So answer for this is 1. Whenever we have base 10, the logarithm is called common logarithm. And we may drop writing the base. If the base is not written, it is understood that the base is 10. Another one, log of 100 to the base 10. 10 raised to the power 2 gives us 100. So answer for this is 2. And just one more, log of 1000 to the base 10. 10 raised to the power 3 gives us 1000. So answer for this is simply 3. So look at the pattern. Even though numbers are increasing exponentially by a digit, the log of these numbers is increasing very slowly. An increase of 1 for an increase of a digit in the number. Right, so logs is a continuous function. Log of any single digit number will always be a value between 0 and 1. They have given you log 2, which is 0 0.301. It's between 0 and 1, right? Similarly, log of any two-digit number will be a value between 1 and 2 always. And log of any three-digit number will always be a value between 2 and 3. Do you want further proof? Let's calculate log of 640, which is a three-digit number. We just need log 2 as input. So log of 640 can be written as log of 64 plus log of 10. And 64 is 2 raised to the power of 6. The power comes out. So log 64 is 6 times log 2 and log 10 is 1. Let us substitute the given value of log 2. 
log of 640 evaluates to 2.806. As I told you earlier, for any three digit number, its log will be a value between 2 and 3. And this confirms that. Further, I want to tell you that logarithm of any number is just a value. It's not coronavirus. You don't need to be afraid of it. I'm telling you again. Now this value, log of any number, will have two parts. One is the integer part called characteristic. The other part is called mentisa. So while estimating number of digits, we just need the characteristic. Ignore the decimal part, mentisa. Three digit number, its log is two point something. Single digit number, its log is zero point something. So quickly tell me the relation between number of digits and its log. You guessed it right. The number of digits in any general number are always one more than the characteristic of its common log. With this overview, I am confident that we can tackle the questions now. So our first question is, how many digits does 2 raised power of 200 have? And they have given us the value of log 2 as input. Simply, we take the log of the given number and using this power rule of logarithms, we can take the power out. Log of 2 raised to the power 200 is equal to 200 times log 2. 200 into the value of log 2 which is 0 0.301 is equal to 60.1. The characteristic of this is 60 and since the number of digits in the given exponent is one more than the characteristic, our answer to this question is 61. We tick that option and move on. Next question is, find the number of digits in 5 raised power of 100. Again, they have given us a value of log of 2 as input. We can take log of the given number and using this power rule of logarithms, we take the power out. Here, we need log 5, but they have only given us log 2. So how do we calculate log 5? Okay, so 5 can always be expressed in terms of 10 and 2, correct? We write 5 as 10 over 2 and log of 10 over 2 is equal to log of 10 minus log of 2. Let's substitute values now. Log 10 is 1 and log 2 is 0 0.301. So 100 times 0 0.699, this will be equal to 69.9. The characteristic is 69 and we already know that the number of digits in the given exponent should be one more than the characteristic. Our answer to this question is 70. Let's take that option. So hope the concept is crystal clear to you now. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the like button if you found this video lesson useful. See you next time with another exciting challenge. Till then, bye-bye and take care.